I'm back. Uh, we're talking about uh, horses that trained very, very well today. Today was a tough day. We really scooted them along the last half of a mile and a half. And uh, we had some tired horses today, but we had some horses that trained very, very well. Um, how should I do this? I had the top 10 written out and realized it wasn't fair not to not to talk about these other horses also. So why don't we just start with one through 10, then we'll just continue on to 17. Number one horse of the day in my mind, I don't even know if this horse won his training set, but the way he finished, man, oh man, did he look good. I was in there with Beach Bum BB, and I was finishing hard to be fourth. This horse came screaming by me, and I believe he won the set. If he didn't, only a matter of inches, and another two lengths, and he was gone. That was Brush Cut. Brush Cut looked very, very impressive today. Uh, I don't know what his last quarter was in, but he was moving, and he looked really strong doing it. Old Sleepy Steve went with Brush Cut. I like when, when some of our caretakers and some of our riders actually get along with some horse as well um, and Steve definitely gets along with this horse well brush cut was very very good today I, I was very impressed with what I saw from brush cut today uh, I've been impressed with this colt for a while but what I saw today was ultra impressive I was very very impressed with brush cut second inland beach wow she looked very very strong I had somebody in there and I couldn't quite get I had uh, my girl in there fuss pot I followed him, attacked, and he put me away halfway down the lane. He beat me three quarters of a length, and Emerald Miss was absolutely flying on the end of the mile also. We'll talk about her in just a second. But Inland Beach hung on, I believe, to win the training set and looked awesome in doing so. So Inland Beach is a solid number two. Emerald Miss just talked about her. This is a sister to Bourbon and Barley, and James loves this filly. She can flat out fly, and she was flying today. And even when we turned to go, he said, a little clappier today. I don't know if she's as good today. Man, if that wasn't her good, uh, she's going to be some kind of scary horse for the summer. She certainly looked good. Back to old faithful knockdown drag out number four. Probably, probably could have been. I'm not going to say anybody looked as good as Brush Cut today. She could have easily been two, three, or four. I just put her name in fourth. Looked great. Uh, I was a little, little miffed. Um, brush uh, knockdown drag out was sitting second behind. Uh, effusive and I came with a big brush with Johan and I knew when I went on the track they had different knee boots on Johan they were a little big one of them come down and Johan ended up making a break in the last turn um, I don't want to say how the outcome of the race would have went but uh, Johan made a little break and um, Knocked down Dragon took full advantage of that. And she won the set. Effusive was second. I don't know who was third. I was fourth. Um, but Knocked down Dragon was very, very good. Again, today as she is every week. This is one horse I keep saying to everybody. She might not be number one every week. But she's good every week. I don't even remember the last time this filly didn't train good. Knocked down Dragon certainly impressive again this week. Number five, Miss Brampton Beast. This filly was very, very good. She was actually very, very good today amongst we got some really nice pacing fillies which is good good uh and knocked and uh, Br miss brampton beast looked awesome again today finished up strong first over attack i believe and finished up very very strong looked great horse also that looked great now i don't know who won the set we came a big last half with some Toronto fillies spend that money and nancy allison were together at the wire nancy allison came from behind me so i'm going to give her the nod as number six because we tried the last half in like 104 and three 104 and four in the jog carts that's the last half of a mile and a half and nancy allison we were heads apart we were right there together spend that money in nancy allison but nancy allison came from behind me two back so i'm going to give her the nod as as uh, out of the two and come right back with number seven, spend that money. She looked awesome today, a little shoeing change. Man, oh man, did she look good. Driving into number eight, I'm leaving Johan on the list just because of the move he made down the backstretch. Not that shocking. This is probably one of our best horses um, and hasn't been as consistent as Knockdown Dragout, but I don't know if there's a trotter as naturally talented as Johan on the farm. He can really, really fly. He's got a gear that most don't have. Now, I'm not taking anything away from the horses like Knockdown Dragout or really Blue Chip or any of those horses, um, but um, Johan is a, a bit of a freak. 
uh, and I really like him. I'm leaving him on the list. That knee boot coming down, he didn't hit it and it fell down. I just think it came down, and which is a little upsetting. Uh, but nevertheless, I made a little break. He'll bounce back. Number nine, Fox Valley Shazam. This filly trained awesome today. The only thing I can say the slight about her is Mario put her on the front and went wire to wire. Without that stopping and starting and moving throughout the mile, I don't find it as impressive. But the fact that she put me away, I came from last with Sebastian Yu and I couldn't quite get to her. Now, Sebastian Yu came a big, big last half. I guess I could have actually put him ahead of her, but she did beat me fair and square. So Fox Valley Shazam, very strong, very good today. Number 10, don't believe me just watching. He could have been further up the list. Uh, Kevin went with him. He's down in Kevin's barn now. I moved him down, and Kevin really likes this colt. Pretty hard not to like him the way he's training right now. He's no joke. We make fun of him because he's small and call him Peanut. This horse can fly, and he was very, very good today. Two moves. Now, he beat me with Miss Mischief Maker, and she was exhausted. She was tired at the wire, but that's her second training trip back in five weeks. Probably a lot for her today, maybe even a little more than she could have had. But uh, nevertheless, it is what it is. She bounced back great after the mile. Seems good. Um, but take nothing away from Don't Believe Me. Just watch. That was impressive. That was very impressive. Now we have uh, Sebastian Yu. There's Ollie on his bike. Sebastian Yu was uh very very good again i said i was charging at uh i was charging at um uh fox valley shazam and i couldn't quite get there he was very good i was set seventh the whole way did everything right really really starting to like this horse a lot very happy with him again this week sebastian you was very good a horse that actually could have been much higher up in the list was spirit of dio spirit of dio trained great today she's not balanced proper just yet for those of you that are horsemen out there, you might know what I'm talking about. She does her work. She's very talented, very fast filly, but not perfectly balanced yet. Uh, still won her training set that she was in with very easy and looked very good doing it. Sat fifth, first over, slow grind, cleared to the front, drove away. Looked very, very good. Spirit of Dio was great. Another horse that could have been easily higher, Sunshine and Shade, toyed with everybody today. Looked very impressive. I still can't get over how big this horse has gotten he looks really good and every week he looks like he's doing it even more effortless than the week before very impressive mile from him bottle of red look good again you know what john downey i know you watch these i appreciate that you sent me an email john downey went with like six horses today and emailed me a list of how they all went i saw a couple of them go but i didn't see a couple go and john ended up uh without asking ended up sending me an email of all, have how all the horses went. So I appreciate that, John. Great job. I'm going to convey exactly what you said about all the horses you went with. Bottle of Red, he said, very, very good. Very talented filly. Um, did everything right. And a horse, really shouldn't, these two horses shouldn't be last, but I they're last on my list. Wiggle Delight was tremendous today. James said, James is now shifting away a little bit. I think he believes that, that, um, Wiggle Delight might be the best pacer we have. And he might be right. Wiggle Delight does everything very, very good. She's very well-bred and could very well be our best horse uh, in Ontario. Anyway, we'll see. A lot of work to be done yet. We'll see how it transpires. But I'm going to tell you what. Uh, Wiggle Delight is impressive looking filly. And Miss Mischief Maker, I had to put her on my list just because this is a filly that was a little sore. She come up, injured herself, bruised herself, right hind, needed a week off. We trained her back one week later. Trained her back one week later, and what happens? Jumps on herself in the stall, rips her leg open, 15 stitches, had to sit in the stall for two more weeks. She was off five or six weeks. This was her second training pet trip back. Now, I couldn't quite put away, don't believe me, just watch, and she was tired going under the wire, but she's a worker. She came in throwing her head, feeling good. I love this filly. I love everything about her. She's going to be back in the swing of things soon enough. Um, I don't think that was too much work for her, and I was very happy with what I saw from miss mischief maker so that's like 17 or 18 horses really worth mentioning today uh you might ask why wasn't really blue chip on there she had a splint we had crowd and she did not train today but everybody else did so uh that's my top list i guess top 18 list i'll be back in a minute i'm gonna run through all the burns real quick and i'm gonna run through all the horses real quick talk to you guys in a minute